Okay, let's get started. Ghosts are real. That much I know. Hey horror freaks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is the first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification every single time that I post a video and I post every single week. Now, probably this is not the video that you guys were expecting since today is the release of The Exorcist Believer in movie theaters, but like I have explained it in the last videos, I am currently on a family trip, meaning that I will not be able to watch the film until next week. But still, I wanted to talk a little bit about the film, so that's why I decided to revisit the franchise and see all the films and the TV series that I have never watched until almost a month ago because I was really looking forward to do this video and talk a little bit about the franchise and the future of it and my opinion of it. So getting very quickly, The Exorcist is a franchise that started back in 1971 with the novel The Exorcist, written by William Peters Blady. The franchise is mostly known by the film on 1973 The Exorcist that is based on the novel. And it's because of the success of the 1973 film that we have the sequels, we have the prequels, we have the TV series, and now the upcoming trilogy. Now The Exorcist is about to turn 50 this year and it's one of those films that it doesn't matter how much time it passes, it's always going to be a huge part of of the conversation in terms of the movie history. The Exorcist is considered the best and the scariest horror film to ever be made and one of the most influential ones. It's thanks to it that we have all the supernatural and possession horror movies today and the impact that this film had in both the genre and the industry is something that will never be forgotten and I am pretty sure that it doesn't matter how much time it passes this film will be always part of the type of films that you need to watch at least once in your life and of course everyone has their opinions into which one can be considered the best horror film ever or the scariest one but definitely The Exorcist is always going to be at least on the top two. Then the franchise continued with The Exorcist 2 The Heretic in 1977. Here we have the return of some of the characters of the previous film and this one is supposed to be focusing more into the investigation of the death of the priest at the end of the first one. The reality is that this one wasn't that well received but to be fair it's very hard to be better or as equal as a film that had so much of an impact in the industry and on the audiences because it's well known how the exorcist made a lot of people feel in this in the theaters and outside of it they were bringing press to bless at the theaters there were people that were leaving puking passing out so when you have a film that creates that type of reaction, when you have a sequel that is directly attached to it, it's going to be very hard to not only replicate, but to also fulfill the expectations of the viewers. But we have to be honest here, and the reality is that the film is also not the best. So of course, it wasn't well received. Then we have a few years later, The Exorcist 3, this one improves the reality is that this one in my opinion it's better than the second one this one what it follows is a series on investigations about murders in a psychiatrist ward this one was better received like i said in my opinion this one is a little bit better and improves compared to the second one but we will not be seeing the the exorcist in the big screen until the prequels that arrive on the early 2000s now this one they can get a little bit confusing but i'm going to try my best to explain you what is the issue here now the first prequel is called exorcist the beginning and came out back in 2004 this one was heavily criticized by the critics and the audience it has awful reviews so that's why they decide to do essentially the same film a year later, but with a different name, kind of the same cast, but a different director. And this is how we get Dominion prequel of The Exorcist in 2005. And to really prove that these films are essentially the same, only that one is better than the other, in my opinion, Dominion is a little bit better. I'm going to be reading you guys the plot of those two. First, The Exorcist, the beginning from 2004. It says, Having lived through traumatizing events during World War II, Father Lancaster Marion takes a sabbatical from the church to conduct archaeological excavations in British and Ministry East Africa. 
marine on earth an ancient byzantine church believed to have been built and immediately buried to keep down evil from the crypt below the natives are convinced that uncovering the church has unleashed a demon and begins to violently clash with the british military troops as the village rapidly disintegrates into chaos and war Marin must face off with the demon which has taken possession of somebody close to him. And to make things even more confusing, the protagonist is the same actor, Stellan Skargar. He is the same character in both films. And now to read the plot of the Dominion, the prequel of The Exorcist from 2005. Haunted by terrible acts, the Nazis force him to participate in the dissentage. Father Lancaster Marion focuses his energies on helping with the archaeological dig in the northern part of Kenya. There, the crew uncovers a church that predates Christian missions into the area, but the discovery also causes strange events to start occurring, including physical changes to a young disabled boy whom Marion grows to suspect has been possessed by a demon. They are essentially the same film, but they decided to do the same thing just with different director. One worked better than the other, but in my opinion, they are both objectively bad. They weren't necessary at all, but of course, we cannot stop at studios from making prequels and sequels from successful films. Now, after the prequel from 2005, it will not be seeing The Exorcist in the screen until the Exorcist TV series from 2016. Now, this series that only has two seasons since it was canceled in 2017 is actually now available on Hulu. That's where I saw it. And yes, it is connected to the original film. But of course, that will be a spoiler if I say it right here. But I saw it like a month ago because I remember when the series was first announced. But I wasn't able to see in it at the moment and years after i forgot then when i opened my hulu account i saw it and was like oh so here it is so i can finally watch it since i have heard that it's actually good but i never did until now that i thought about making this video just talking about the franchise and i thought yeah i think it's time so i sat down and i can say that i enjoyed it very much i was very impressed I like it this first season more than the second. Uh, I still like it that the series in general, since they were able to create a balance between bringing new things to the franchise, but also staying with the original, but making it feel fresh and like not watching the same thing over and over. I think that they did a pretty good job with it. Was a very surprise, but very pleased with it. So if you haven't watched it, this is your call to do it because it's honestly more enjoyable than expected. So if you like The Exorcist or just supernatural films and series in general, this one will be a recommendation. Like I said, it's available on Hulu. The two and after this, we haven't seen The Exorcist on the big screen until now that we have the upcoming trilogy produced by Bloomhouse that is going to be directed by David Gordon Green. The same guy that did Halloween's trilogy with Bloomhouse. Now we're going to have in the first one that is coming The Exorcist Believer coming today October 6th. And we're going to be having the second one that is The Exorcist Deceiver coming on 2025. And the third one that it doesn't have a title yet will be coming later on. I could be expecting 2027. Of course, since the film is going to be released today, we don't know how people are going to be react throughout the weekend, how people are going to feel about it, if they're going to be optimistic with it, if they're going to hate it, if they're going to love it. I don't know yet. I haven't seen it yet. But I don't know what to expect about this upcoming trilogy. Probably... I just hope that they have learned a little bit from making Halloween. Since I didn't hate the trilogy individually, I like it at the films. The only issue was the closure. Since I didn't hate Halloween ends, but the problem was that it was supposed to be the ending of the trilogy. And it didn't felt like it. But individually, I really like it, the films. Although I know that many people dislike it, kills and ends. Like I said, individually, I like them as a trilogy. It could have been a little bit better. Only time will tell if they're going to be making the same mistake with this one or they're going to make some improvements with within making the trilogy an actual trilogy and making a good closure to it because sometimes that's the hardest part and is to give closure to the story. 
Now, after this, we don't know how much is going to pass for the exorcist to return to the big screen. But I am not surprised that 50 years later, after the successful first film, we're having the return to it into the movie theaters. I have seen many people excited for it. And of course, I cannot blame them because there's many people that love this type of films. So, of course, this is going to be bringing a lot of people to theaters. I am not expecting this film to be a flop in terms of the box office since it's coming on October. It's on the weekend. October 13, in my opinion, was the best date, but I do not blame them for changing the date. Now, as for my ranking of the franchise, this one was actually pretty easy to do. The reality, it wasn't that hard for me to think which ones I like it better than others. For me, at the bottom will be the exorcist the beginning then it will be exorcist to the heretic then dominion the prequel to the exorcist then the exorcist 3 the exorcist tv series and of course on the first place the exorcist from 1973 there's no discussion there now of course i will not be including the exorcist believer until after i have watched it but for now that will be my ranking as for the timeline, um, since I have seen many people confused, essentially both prequels, they directly connect to the original, then we have the th second and the third one, the Exorcist TV series is a sequel of the, the original, and then we have the trilogy that, according to the creators, is supposed to be a direct sequel of the original, but at the same time, the second and the third one will be canon events, meaning that they will be correlated but not completely so they will be attached to the one from 1973 but also attached to the second and the third one other sites are saying that they will not be correlated making another timeline into the franchise i am not 100 percent sure but my way to seeing it it doesn't really make a huge difference if the second and the third one are correlated with the upcoming trilogy or not since at the end they're supposed to be a sequel from the one from 1973 but just a quick explanation of the timeline in case that you guys were a little bit confused of course more information will be coming as the films are released and maybe they will give an official statement into where do this one stands in the timeline of the franchise but well thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below which one will be your ranking or which one is your favorite of this franchise but well thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys on the next one bye that much I know.